Start caring today with your go-to concealed carry outfit. Hey guys, it's Emily from Style Me Tactical and I'm gonna be talking to you about dressing for concealed carry and that misconception that you have to buy an entirely new wardrobe when you first start down this lifestyle. I'm gonna share with you how to build your go-to foundational outfit so that you can carry every day because after all, what's the point of having your license to carry if you're not out there carrying and able to defend yourself? All right, so you have your holster and your gun and it's just not working with your clothes. So what's gonna help you start carrying every day? It's building your go-to foundational outfit, your outfit formula. And what I mean by that is that one outfit that you can go to, that you can rely upon, that's gonna work with your concealed carry setup every single time. And for me, that is t-shirt and jeans. That may not be what it is for you, but in my pre-carry life and into my carry life, I have always been a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl. So building my go-to foundational outfit was based around a good pair of jeans and my favorite tee. So how do you go about doing that? So let's talk about jeans. For me, I like a very skinny, tight, snug, mid-rise jean. Through my trial and error of this lifestyle, I learned that this jean setup works for me. I've tried a low-rise jean, it didn't work. A high-rise jean also works, but it's just not my preferred method. I know that each time I wanna carry, if I rely on this style pair of jean and a go-to t-shirt of mine, I can carry all the time without any issue. And that's what you wanna aim for when you're looking for your pair of jeans or your pair of pants that's gonna set up your foundation. So when you're trying on your, your jeans, if it's not working, look at a few things. Are they the right size? Could they be too big? What's the rise level? Is it too low? Are they too high? Those kinds of things you wanna look at to make sure that your carry setup is working with that foundational piece so then you can start building upon that with different shirts. Now that you've got your jeans picked out, let's talk about shirts. Now for me, I love a good t-shirt. I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl. I was in my pre-carry life and I currently still am. It's just part of my style. And for me, I prefer a loose fitting t-shirt all the time. Date night, hanging out, going to work, whenever I can wear a t-shirt, I'm gonna wear a t-shirt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull one of your shirts. If it's a t-shirt or a different style shirt, you're gonna pair that with your current jean setup and your concealed carry setup. And you wanna wear that around your house, living your lifestyle, doing laundry, going to the bathroom, working on your computer, whatever it is that you do in your everyday style. Test the shirt out, raise your hands, is your gun exposed, bend over, do all those kinds of things that you might particularly do out and about when you start caring and see how that shirt fits. There's some things you might need to consider when you're looking at a shirt if it's not working for you. What's the fabric type? What's the fabric weight? What's the size of the shirt? Maybe you've chosen a shirt that in your pre-carry life was a little bit more fitted and it's just not gonna work and you wanna find that balance between something that is not super baggy but not also super fitted. So those are some of the considerations you wanna think about when you're trying to pick out the shirt that's gonna go with your concealed carry setup and your jeans. Let's say you've got the shirt that works now. So now you've got the shirt, you've got the pants, and your concealed carry setup. There you have it. That is your go-to foundational outfit, your outfit formula that you can go to. So what do you wanna do next? Snap a photo of it. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but do it. You'll be happy that you're able to reference this outfit when you're standing in front of your closet wondering what to wear. And now that you have this foundation outfit, you can start building upon it. This is where the fun comes in. Go play dress up in your closet. I know as an adult, might sound a little childish, but I'm telling you, this is gonna set you up for concealed carry success. Go to your closet, spend an afternoon, and make sure you have your concealed carry set up, your go-to jeans, and start trying on different tops. And do the same thing you did when you're building your formula, your first outfit. Do the normal things you do around the house. Raise your hands, do the dishes, do the laundry. What, whatever you do in your daily lifestyle, start doing that by interchanging the different shirts. And once you find one, 
take another photo of it. So you start building this photographic library of outfits that you can go to so you're never wondering what you're gonna wear, you don't know what works, you've got something that you can start with. And yes, there are gonna be shirts and there are gonna be jeans that are just not gonna work. It happens to me and that's fine. Those get saved for days that I can't carry or maybe I'm going out of town where I can't carry. I can still wear those things, it's just not gonna work for my everyday carry and that's okay. Those are some of the concessions we need to make in this lifestyle. A few things to keep in mind when you're getting started with this lifestyle and to help you get comfortable carrying at home is to make sure that you're carrying with an unloaded firearm and you're always being safe. Also, as you're trying on different outfits, enlist a friend to take video of you. You can see how your outfits move around the gun. Can you see the outline of the gun, which is called printing? Is the gun being visible in your different movements? Video really helps to kind of identify that and you can narrow down more if the outfit is working or if you need to make some changes. Another thing I wanna to touch on too is when you have found your formula outfit and you found what works for you, is you want to practice dry drawing. Basically practicing, can you access your firearm with the garments that you're wearing so you can easily and be ready to defend yourself. And again, you wanna do that with an unloaded firearm. And if you're just not finding an outfit that works, look at your holster. Most holsters today have features that can be adjusted to help you with concealed carry. I know getting into this lifestyle can be overwhelming. There's a lot of information out there and a lot of things that you need to learn and do. But you have to remember, this isn't a one size fits all lifestyle. Take the baby steps to do it. Start carrying at home. Start playing dress up in your closet. Get comfortable in your own home before you step outside so you can carry confidently. Remember, that carrying concealed isn't going to be 100% comfortable, but it's there to bring you comfort that you are ready and prepared to defend yourself if you need. Let me know in the comments if you have a go-to outfit and what it is. And if you need any more tips for dressing for concealed carry, head to stylemetactical.com. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe, stay stylish, stay self-reliant.